Hi, we're here at the Nottingham International Film Festival and delighted to be joined by Dish, the director, and Ifti, the star of the film Bangletown, which is playing today. Hey, guys. Hi. How you doing? So tell me a little bit about the film. Um, it's a, well, we'd like to think it's a comedy about a struggling actor who falls in with a local group of mobsters uh, and then ends up using his acting skill to help them. And uh, there's a big, uh, big thing with the police at the end as well. Cool. And so how was it playing a struggling actor? Uh, well, I could draw on some real-life experiences myself, so it wasn't that hard. But, um, yeah, it was a fun, fun character to play and a uh, lot of relatable situations. And uh, I like the way Dish used um, some comedy writing in there to sort of tackle some social issues as well. So that was really good to do that. How was the... Because there are some sort of action set pieces. How was it doing those... How was it acting in those and how was it to direct those pieces? Uh, I think the lo some of the locations were quite challenging. I mean, we filmed in a bunker, didn't we? One of these um, yeah, yeah. paintball bunkers or something not like the, that. Not the warmest place, yeah, uh, but yeah. yeah, yeah. Look. Um, but yeah, it was, it was fun. I mean, sometimes when you're in that character, so you just want to like, sort of give you your best shot. So yeah, it was, it was good, it was good. And what were the biggest challenges for you, Dish, in, in, in bringing this film to the screen? Oh, everything, everything was tough about it. It's, it's literally the toughest job project I've ever done. Um, but it's just... It was because because of I didn't want to do anything simple. All the all the things they say about you know making your first film, make it with just a few actors, a few locations, and keep it simple. You know, just drama and dialogue. But no, I, I went for police chases, yeah, boxing yeah. fights, uh, SWAT teams, and yeah, you didn't hold hold back. I just yeah, we, we, it, it, it was not the, the the narration he gave me in the beginning of the film. He did say it was going to be something small and very quickly done. And then as soon as we got into it, it was like, no, we've got to do it bigger. We've got to get a bit better. We've got to get do better. So, yeah, that was a change in it. Yeah, it was a, yeah, I mean, uh, it uh, organically grew is one, <laughs> one way of putting it. And uh, I don't just, yeah, we, we ended up just throwing everything we had at it. And just, yeah, just um, worst thing in life is regretting, you know, not doing something. And we, we definitely yeah. did everything yeah. Yeah. at that film, yeah. Fantastic, and we're really looking forward to sharing it with the audience in Nottingham. How much are you looking forward to seeing it again on the big screen today? Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I, I like the film. <laughs> I genuinely I like, like the too. film. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, we hope the crowd... Like, uh, we think it's a crowd pleaser because it's you know, got a lot of... Um, got of everything. It's got a very diverse cast, really like punchy storyline, really like goes for it. For all its faults, there are a few. Yeah. But, I mean, basically, it just keeps you going, keeps you hooked and interested for the 90 minutes so yeah we're really looking forward it's to it. It's nice it's nice to be able to bring the film to different cities um it must my second visit not and I remember visiting here about 10 years ago so for me one of the benefits of working on films is you get to get a chance to travel with it and meet different audiences so I'm looking forward to seeing how the people react to it.